All right, folks, gonna work on a Volvo XC60. Uh, this is a 2012, and if it doesn't really speak well of their technology, they use this plastic for the seat releases, and they've broken on both sides. The dealer wants $700 to replace them. So we ordered parts online, um, these are genuine Volvo parts. The lock mechanisms for about 47. So the first issue is getting the plastic off. You might be able to take it off, but the plastic on top has gone bad. And I think this plastic is bad as well. I'll show you where it's locked in and you're welcome to try. Uh, mine broke trying to get it off so there's a there's a little piece of plastic under here and if you push in and then twist to lever it you might be able to get it to come up the other place it has a piece like that is on top and again you push in twist up and you might be able to get it to come off and then there's two more little pieces that you actually can't access if your if your one piece is still intact so i'll show you where they are on the other side so on this one both pieces are broken and so the two little ones on top are right here and you can put a small screwdriver in and kind of lever them back and potentially get them to slide out. Again, you're gonna to have to come in from over here with a larger screwdriver and twist it, push in and twist sideways to try to get that one to pop out. And now I'll show you on the new one what it actually looks like from the inside. Okay, so here's looking at one that's new. You can see there's those two tabs where you can potentially stick your screwdriver down inside, push them back slightly and lift up. These are the two large tabs, one up here and one down here where you could potentially slide your screwdriver in, push it back and then twist it. My experience trying to take these off is that the plastic's bad and I think you would do a lot better to just tear them off and then get new plastic pieces for nine dollars next if both of your handles are broken off the top and you've got the seat stuck in the up position it's a little bit of a bugger to actually get it to release nothing here to pull up on so i'll show you on the other side what i did so again that it's locked up and you might be able to see down in there when I pull on this lever, there's a little release mechanism in the back. And all you're doing is pulling that up. And then the actual latch is spring-loaded and will come forward. All right. So what you need is something fairly stout and fairly narrow and you need to put it in above the latch right beside this silver piece and it goes pretty far back in there I'd say about an inch and then you've got to you've got to lever this down and pull this up It has released enough that you can push the seat forward and I just pulled that back with my hand. So the unit attaches with two T40 star drive bolts and then there's various places where the 
lot. Leather's tucked down into it, and then uh, also there's three tabs there that fit into these three tabs here. However, on pulling it out, it's attached to this mechanism, and I don't can't really figure out what that does. And also, that black piece is not with the part I ordered, so I'm planning to take it loose and see if I can just put that black piece back in the new part I have. So actually what that attachment is, is the release for the headrest. And I just put that plastic piece back in and we'll see if it works. So indeed I was able to salvage that plastic piece without it breaking and it indeed does release the seat it still works i don't know if i'll have the same luck on the other side and again that little piece didn't come with the pieces i ordered it might be prudent to try to order that separate little piece i'll try to show you what it looks like on the other side so i've got the t40 bolts back in um, notice the three little tabs that fit in here and then there's some various little plastic pieces that help put the seat uh, cover back in position and then we'll try popping the plastic cover back on. So there it is reinstalled. Leather's tucked back in to position and held in place and now we just have to put the plastic cover back on. It's looking like that's a little harder than you would think. Uh, but I'm going to start from the top, try to put those two front pegs in there, slide this one in here, and then see if I can shimmy the bottom one into its position. I'll let you know in a minute how it goes. Okay, so that went easy. Um, the issue that was holding me up was this piece of leather was getting caught, so I had to make sure to tuck it under and then... I indeed put these two in first, got this one started, and then with just some downward pressure this way, this one came close, and then I was able to lock it into position. So there we have the completed job. Which works like it's supposed to and looks like it did originally. So knowing that that piece is in there and that I need it, I'm trying to be a little more careful on this side. What actually has to happen is you have to pop this little metal grommet off and then it is also, there's a little plastic tab here that fits up into this mechanism. This mechanism will be replaced, but the part in there with this little plastic tab is the part that uh, didn't come with what I ordered. So, let's see what we can do. So, if you pull it and actually sort of twist it a little bit outward, try to stabilize it, that black tab sort of pops out. The other one didn't break, and so far this one hasn't. And that makes it easy to lever the metal piece off. And the actual tab down here that I was telling you about is um, in the part that's going to be replaced. So let's see what happens. So it might be worthwhile trying to order that part when you order the rest of it. Um, just in case. It looks like mine will work and it worked on the other side um, but again if you look right here that's a circle part and the actual tab is there and so even if that broke off taking it out this part will be replaced and so before I get too much further these are the metal units and you notice the numbers are different uh, one for left and one for right same thing with the plastic. There's the order numbers and 
left is different than right. Um, you also have to make sure of color. They come in black and they come in tan. And then this is the metal plastic part. And again, you can just so you'll know where the tabs are. These two didn't seem to affect going in or out. This is these are the two that if you want to try to push them back, try to lever it out, you might be able to. And then this one you have to come in with a screwdriver this way, try to push it back and twist it up. But good luck with that. And then this is the same thing down here. Again, I think the issue is that the plastic is in this vehicle is about four or five years old, and so trying to get it out without breaking those is probably impossible. So indeed, I was able to pop this one back in as well uh, without breaking it, and we'll see once we get it back together if it actually works. If it were me, I would order that plastic part along with the other because I'd sure hate to get the whole thing taken apart and have that break as I was pulling it out and not be able to replace it. So what I found on the other side was that the plastic piece went back in easily if you get all these little areas where the seat cover needs to be tucked in and there's little plastic pieces where it fits in and if you do that the plastic seat the plastic cover should pop right back on. Well, let's try the seat before we do that. Uh, just another note, once I got the seat loose from where it was attached, I put rags in these holes so that as I was moving the seat back and forth, it wouldn't inadvertently latch because it was a pain to get that, uh, get that latch loose without anything to grab it. So let's see what happens here. Uh, catches normally and releases normally and again the, that one little medial thing is the seat release and that's working fine so I think we are almost a success this was the area that was binding me before on the other side and so I think if you push that in that this will then push down and pop into place a lot easier. There it is, completed. Actually putting that plastic piece back on was probably as tough as anything. So, but everything works smoothly and it's in good position. So that is all you need to do. And I don't have an exact time frame. It uh, probably took two hours to do it.